Hello, this is Nani's Journal, and since the presidential election, people have given me three major responses to my what do you think is going to happen with Donald Trump as president question. The first answer is I voted for Donald Trump. We don't need the Mexicans. So this is me asking the question, and this is their response to the question. And this is my reaction to their answer at the bottom. I personally don't think Donald Trump, I personally think that Donald Trump is a bad person that hates all races besides whites. And they said, okay, but I still voted for him. Go home and study on it. Next, the second question. And their answer. I think we should pray for the best. God will save us. And then this is them and their answer and my reaction at the bottom. Said, yes, God has something in store, but we should also be doing something about it. And then they said, go to church, child. Jesus will answer our prayers. So that's that. The last answer to that question was, they. I honestly don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And my reaction to that was, well, waiting is going to get us killed and other people deported. And they said, anyway, like I said, I still, I don't know. I still think we should wait. And for my next one. Friday, December 9th, 2016. Today in my sociology class, we learned about prejudice. Prejudice is something that we learn from association. We mostly learn prejudice from media. Labels mainly lead up to prejudice. They explore how labels lead to selective perception, causing people to see only certain features of an object or situation while remaining blind to others. People with particular personality traits, such as high levels of conformity, intolerance, insecurity, and deference to authority, which may make them more inclined to be prejudiced, those are just some things I know about prejudice. I'll see you next week.